My name is Jock Bell. My age is 56 years old. My occupation is, uh, well, geologist, water scientist, uh, extraordinaire. <laughs> and, um, and people lover. You know, I love, uh, I love to be around uh, the folks of the world, to rollick and play with them, and to, uh, I'm a spokesman for, for Trinity Springs, the water company. Uh, I'm a bo on the board of directors of Trinity Springs. Uh, I hired a partner who is a CEO. Uh, I don't wear that suit. I'm not one of those guys. I'm more in the mutableness of the water. I'm a so I find myself kindling my energy in the, in the sense of the water. I virtually uh, discovered the water when I was a younger age and have spent years, uh, different various times throughout my life in the water before I became more familiar that the water had curative healing properties. Uh, I witnessed those curative healing properties from older people who were coming to collect the water years ago and who had multitudes of testimonies of what the water had done to them. And at the time I felt uh, that I was on a pathway of life living foods at then, uh, but I didn't know what living life foods really were. I was mainly into organic, mainly into natural foods, and uh, had no idea that, w that what I was bathing in and what I was uh, spend my time a lot had medicinal therapeutic properties that we would discover later on. And so it led me on a journey of sorts that draw me, kept drawing me to the springs through dreams and through uh, the beautiful lady that is my partner of 27 years and I, we played and spent time in the waters. We owned a hotel in, in Sun Valley, Ketchum, Idaho. And we went all the time, we went over to the springs you know, quite, quite often, and there was just something about this water that has no sulfur smell, and when you got in it and came out of it, your body would just feel silky soft, and you were energized, and we didn't know what all that meant at the time. We really didn't have a true understanding or a handle on that, that what we were bathing in would be actually a, a, a drinking water for mankind later on. So all of this has been playing out, and one day I was on 3rd Street in the middle of Ketchum, Idaho, and I was wondering, what am I going to do with my life? I had just sold our, we had sold our hotel, we were out, retired, we were retired for about 10 years, running around the world, and what I was doing, we were going to every hot springs we could go to. In fact, I, I went to about 2,000 hot springs or so, if you'd add them all up, counting all the ones in Yellowstone and everything else. It was a huge in depth I was fascinated with with hot springs. I was fascinated in the fact that this is coming from some unknown world in the earth and what is this? You know, this this felt different than surface water. This had a different feeling than be, feeling than being in a swimming pool. It uh, it conjured up uh, a whole mystery in itself that I was fascinated by. So I took on a quest and journey to discover water, being that I'm a water sign. I really, want, I really felt that there was uh, some directive, some calling going on for me to understand as much about water, being that I live in that sign, that I could possibly find out. So as that journey kept going on, the more, uh, more I learned about, the more, the more I was taught by the water, let's say that. The water is a, is a, is a credible spirit that teaches mankind uh, something that we uh, all hold dear that we are 70 some percent or more water, composed of water, a planet is 70 percent water, and it really behooves all of us to understand the depths and the meaning that, of what pure water can they really offer to the physical cell system or the physical body itself, and even its mental capacity, its, abil its ability to uh, re have respect for the waters on the plant planet. What I found that every uh, I found that the multitudes of the masses have not an understanding of what really what real true pristine pure waters are all about, and that that doesn't mean pured by some purification process of filters, carbon filters, or ozonating or whatever disinfectants we call it in in the, in the industry water industry. I wanted uh, being one of the first organic. Uh, uh, potato growers of organic uh, uh, potatoes in the United States, uh, I kind of 
pioneered that early on in the day. My dad would always lay out 100 acres for me, and he said, this is, this is your taw, this is what you're going to make your money off, and, and you can go anywhere in the 7,000 acres and, and grow these potatoes, and it's your baby. And so I decided to grow organic potatoes. I just felt like pesticides and all this stuff was not where to go. And later on, as I sold the farm, came back, come back to the water here, uh, I realized I wanted to be able to put water in its live, organic state. You know, to find a spring that I actually could do that, that was non-polluted by man, that had not been intervened upon by pesticides, by industrial waste, uh, by radiation from the atmosphere, that was virtually a captive aquifer, meaning a captive aquifer is it's captivated in the earth and it has no way of being polluted by modern day man, other than if you went, went to inject it with something with, through injection wells or injecting, injecting into, the, into the spring. At which time the spring would more than likely cough it up because uh, at Trinity Springs, the company I represent here, is we have a, a water that's coming up virtually about uh, 20 tons every, every minute coming up at us under its own pressure. It's not being pumped, there is no borehole, there's no casing. We have not breached this aquifer system in any way. In other words, I had a lady tell me the other day, well, with, this is such holy water. Why would you want to take this water and sell it when it's so holy? Well, the, the fact is that the water, we, mankind could really use a pure form of, of hydration, a pure form of water. And I felt really compelled that as a steward of the water that if we could actually coddle and nurture and not shock or wound this water and gently place this water into a bottle in the most, uh, you know, most uh, conscious form we could do that, uh, we would be offering something that has not been done in the industry. Structured water to me means a water that is literally uh, in the earth uh, from a hydrogen bonding, from hi hydrogen and oxygen state. It had a long time to get to know itself on a molecular level, meaning that it has a bonding relationship with all the minerals. And what has happened, it has built a structure based on, on several of the key elements in the water, one of them being silica. Silica, by the way, is what I call the, the, conscious, the most conscious uh, element in the periodic table. It's a water that always tries to find its own kind. It rounds them all up. It does this incredible magical work in, in all phases of the human body. Uh, if it wasn't for silica or SiO2 in your body, not one neurotransmitter or synaptical system or, or any conscious mechanism in your body would actually work. It's like a computer banking system of sorts, and your, your whole mental systems would be just shut down. In other words, we based silica SiO2, uh, we've, we've actually created a computer chip and, and all the information, the very quartz uh, crystal radio, uh, everything, our whole information age has been all based around silica, SiO2. And so uh, when we bring in a structured or, or a microhydrant structured water, now microhydrant means that the molecular state of that water is dissolved solids. Now that's called TDS, total dissolved solids in water. That means the mineral content of the water uh, in, uh, is they, they evaluate that and they tell you how many minerals you got in water by how many total dissolved solids you have in your water. Now total dissolved solids is a basic term and now we can go and elaborate a little more of, uh, of sizeness of particulate dissolved solids and what size are they in. Now Trinity Springs for instance and there are several other springs we have identified a few others in the world that have been really superheated beyond uh, at 300 degrees or plus 300 degrees in the earth. These, uh, these spring waters literally um, have gotten, uh, gone down through the, through the lithosphere and got into these aquifers, these, these recharge zones, and been recharged back up. And as they come back up, they literally, some of these come up through virtually quartz crystals. Now these quartz crystals literally are being created by the waters themselves. In other words, uh, through thousands of years, the water's been precipitating out of solution and actually forming these crystals as a protective barrier. So nothing can come into the water, nothing can impregnate the water, nothing can interfere with the water from the surface of the earth. In other words, we have areas in the world that have these fault conduit systems or fractures in the earth or fissures in the earth 
that have had to have led the entryway for these waters to come up to the surface from some eons ago from very old time periods. And what happens when these waters walk down to the lithosphere or walk down to the strata, they literally have, uh, it takes 10 times or longer for them to get down and so therefore they get fielded and then they run through a meandering, a vortice vortexing action that literally inscripts them and codifies them with energy. Then as they pass for back up after being superheated under pressure, they further again pass through a quartz crystal body. Well now this quartz crystal body has taken on a different form. It's not just basic quartz, it is the crystals that the water is literally creating to protect the, the source of the water from any invasion of any, any other sources. So what microclustered stru structured water is that structure that builds within the water that all of the harmoni har harmonics or the harmony of all these minerals come together in a cluster or in a form or in a format or in a, an embodiment as a literally, uh, I call it a spiritual living spiritual thing that is in living with life force living energy because it's come t in contact with all these anomalies of different magnetic systems. It's walked through all of these charge values. By the way, when you pass water through billions of crystals, you literally, when it passes across these crystals, you squeeze off a piezoelectric effect that literally is charged within the silica itself as it's transported up through this medium. And what happens here, it literally gets codified, it gets keep, keeps getting more charged and more charged and more organized. So what you have is you have a transmitter, transponder, receiver system. You have a, literally a system at work, not some just free-floating, chaotic, juvenile ions. In other words, ionic fluids or ionic states is, is, is what water is in. It's an ionic medium. But these different ionic mediums have different mass ionic states. They have different density states. So when you superheat water, what happens with this? You turn the water into a term we, 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 we call metamorphic waters. They've been metamorphized by the Earth itself. And through this metamorphism, the bonding relations get squeezed way down to smaller sizes. So what you have, you have the purest form of oxygen and hydrogen you can actually uh, partake of in your body. This is oxygen that has not been titrated with modern day atmosphere in the form of modern day carbon, in the form of, of oxides, of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, all your oxide radicals that literally attach themselves to all water molecules making that H2O and that oxygen, not just one oxygen atom, but a, a cluster of oxygen atoms that literally represents 12, 18, as high as huge amounts of, 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 of oxygen. Well, there's this term been termed out here, antioxidants. Now, we don't use this because uh, a lot, but, but antioxidants are all based around redox potential or oxidation reduction. It's the biggest study going on out there. I know that's a lot of terminology to be put in front of the public out here, but billions of dollars are being spent on in redox potential oxidation reduction because what you really want to do in the physical body, you want to take on protons to donate electrons. In other words, instead of the reverse, instead of expending positively charged uh, ionic fluids in your body that rip off electrons, you want to donate electrons to be able to donate energy to the physical cell system, the physical cell structure of the body. Now it's a very complex system. I mean, it's very hard to simplify it, to kiss it, so to speak, because without going in the redox potential oxidation reduction, there's an organization that goes on with, 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 within molecular states, which we uh, coin as an expression, uh, literally organized water or, or microhydrant structured water. Structured water is, an, is literally a water that's very organized, that really has a mission in life. It has a directive. It has a guidance principle. It has a consciousness. It has, by the way, water has memory. Water, you know, that has a long time to get to know itself is literally been, a, been a, you can actually, we now find you can actually program information into these waters on a molecular level. You can actually, these waters have literally ability to memorize things. If you keep the language very simple and start working on it. Uh, what I will tell you, we came out as a mineral dietary supplement under the Dietary Health and Education Act under Deshay. The only way you can put water in its live organic 
COSA certified, Natrilicus Heidelbosser certified state is to literally become, we, only way we could get around and skirt the FDA regulations was to be a real uh, mineral dietary supplement. See, here's a true spring water. Turning Springs is a true spring water that can't stay at the true spring water unless it processes itself under the regular, normal FDA regulations. They, they look at everything as disinfectants. Uh, only good water is a dead water. And a, good, and a dead water means that you've you got to make sure there's no bacteria, no anything in it that's going to be harmful. Uh, Trinity Springs comes up uh, out, out of the earth with no contaminants involved. No man-made contaminants, no volatile organics, no pesticide residues, zero. So we can bottle Trinity in its live organic state. In fact, we actually sanitize and sterilize with this water. We have a heat exchanger that raises the temperature to 212 and we actually sanitize and sterilize with this water. And so nothing touches this water but this water, not in even the atmosphere. You have to keep, keep this in a very closed in system. We have a HEPA clean room, it's surgical quality, computer chip quality that goes in two locked doors. You have to come in with a whole suit that literally is all sanitized. So there's no mold spores, no fungus, nothing gets in this clean room. And so what we've gone through, we've got literally hundreds of uh, quality control procedures that they have not even written up in any manuals. Because we had, to take in this to, we had to take this to another level of purity to be able to put water in its live organic state. In fact, we've been given a, an honor of, a, of a, the first Natrilicus Heidelbosser water in the United States. Well, Natrilicus Heidelbosser isn't something to really take lightly. In European communities, that's the highest acclaim or highest award you can be given water. That's water that's whole, unbroken, in and of itself, that's been untouched by man in any way. It's very precious water, and there's only a few springs like it in the world that have, have these types of waters that can actually be bottled in their live state. So we had the Institute for Cineas come over and help us on what kind of procedures we had to go through to be able to put water in its live organic state was quite accomplishment. Now there is a mineral usage on this because all dietary mineral supplements out here have to have a usage. Now this is a lot of bureaucratic you know jargon and stuff that we had to comply with to be able to be a mineral dietary supplement. We had to go with all of our lawyers and all of our scientists and stuff to Washington DC to be able to be exempt from any processing and that was a long long process that we've had to, had to go through as a company to get there. And this, by the way, this container is a ball who people make the glass jars. This, uh, this literally is a, a, a totally inert barrier. This will not bleed off any plasticizers, no plastics, uh, all the way to trillions. We've tested this water to trillions. And, the, uh, and, and we have a whole document you can get on our website at www.trinitysprings.com where you'll find all that material at that actually states all of the water consciousness and all the accumulation of information we've been gaining on water for 10 years. Well, uh, the Raw Foods uh, Conference here, uh, what it's all about to me, it's about the people, the look and the spirit of the people. Uh, what I've seen, uh, I have ability to see energies around people and, and boy, did I see a tremendous abundance of energy and focus and directive and and open to change and, and, and life chi lifestyle uh, advancements in their life uh, to way beyond this. You'll find the most harmonious people in this setting. That's what I found. I found this to be quite a network of, of exalted ones on the planet. Not some exalted that fact that we're better than anybody. It's the fact that they have a mission to, to help themselves and help the health issues that a lot of these people have come through a lot of challenges from a health standpoint and walk through the doorway of, of despair and, and, and bad health and on and on to get to this, uh, to this place, uh, which is very meaningful for all of us. I, I felt uh, I, had a, I, I gained a kinship. It's like I've known these people for all my life and, and now I finally get to meet them. And it was, it's a really, it's a, it's a precious place where we all get to come together. Uh, it's like a, a soul grouping of sorts of of spirits that, that have a commonality, a common ground of, of understanding. We come through the chlorophyllic kingdom, we come through the green, through that, that mid-tonation, that what I call the chromotonation system of life where you come to the, 
the midterms of your existence realizing the most powerful thing on the planet planet is our plants for our life force living energy and you see it in the people it's very beautiful